I wasn't born in the 80s. I have a song called 80s Films in my, on my record. I never said in the record I was born in the 80s, but like, I feel like that's a corny purist thing that a lot of people would be like, whoa, you can't reference things that you weren't alive for. It's like, I think they did it on purpose so their music could live on to impact future generations. Maybe I'm crazy, but um, as far as what Dilla did and what, what draw me to him, it was the kick snare conversation. Like these beats, DB level are not the loudest thing you've ever heard, but they still got your neck moving, they still get your body moving, and they're these simple, well chopped, you know, MPC samples, but with this kick, this gritty kick, and this gritty snare that's really just, even if you don't rap, if you hear a Dilla beat, you want to. You wish you could. And that's, that's really what kind of, ooh, I want to make my drums like that. So when you listen to All Time Low and the way the drums are shuffling and moving, that's, that's really from him, from the Chad Hugos, the Pharrells, and the Timberland. That's really where it all stemmed from. So I was raised in an era where, you know, TRL was playing all this different sort of music and then the internet kind of swooped in and you can't fake the funk today. Like, kids just like what they like. It doesn't matter where you're from or, you know, what you should be liking due to your demographic or what you look like. It just doesn't matter. So, to me, you know, I was raised on, you know, in college especially, I really got into the NPC work and swinging drums and I grew up on Timberland and Pharrell. Those were my, you know, Dilla, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I was like, I want to I make music like that. So when you listen to the integral hip hop drums on the record, like All Time Low, and the top line is very Ben Gibbard. It's very Band of Horses. It's very indie emotion. I'm a sensitive cat. Like, but that marriage of those two things are very, it just breeds a fresh sound. I mean, All Time Low was made two years ago, but it still sounds newer than anything that's on the radio right now. Yeah. So 